uh, problem five, page 241. Uh, it beats slides without friction around a loop the loop as shown in the figure. Here we have an object of mass M slides along this trajectory. The beat is released from a height H equals to 3.5R uh, without initial velocity, okay? At this position, we don't have initial velocity. What is its speed at the position A? We have to calculate the speed when the object comes down up at the top of the ring, okay? Uh, let me uh, explain first of all here at this position, let's say uh, initial uh, position here. At this position, uh, we have to precise the X and Y. Uh, the reference of the problem, we have to choose the position uh, where we have a given. Uh, here, I prefer to put X and Y at this position. Why? Because initially, the object has a height equals to H, and finally, the object has a height equals to R, okay? So it's a better position, uh, X and Y here. Let me, uh, first of all, we have X and Y. You know, here we have an isolated system and we can uh, write delta mechanical energy equals to delta potential, a uh, delta kinetic plus delta potential equals to minus or equals to omega F. In this case, we have uh, a slide, we have a uh, trajectory without friction. It means omega F equals to O. In this case, we have a conservation of mechanical energy. Uh, so, omega F equals to O, and we have delta mechanical equals to O, and mechanical energy initial equals to mechanical energy final. Here I take at any position, okay? Here uh, we have just one object. We have this mass. At any position in this system, uh, we have a conservation of mechanical energy. M initial equals to M final. I need to calculate the speed of the object at the position A. You know, if we have a circular trajectory, the speed is tangent to this trajectory. Here we have VA. It's tangent. Uh, to calculate V, we can apply uh, ME initial equals to ME final. Uh, initially, the object uh, is at this position. Here we have nothing. Uh, the ball is at a height equals to 3.5 R. So mechanical energy initial equals to kinetic energy initial plus potential energy initial. And mechanical energy final equals to kinetic plus potential. Okay, initially we have this situation, uh, the object has no velocity, okay? We don't have initial velocity. So we don't have kinetic energy. Initially, the object is at the height uh, of H, so we have mg times H. 
This is about the initial system. The final system where the object will be at the point A here and has a velocity VA and here we have nothing. Okay, the position at uh, the object at the position A has VA. So here we have kinetic energy equals to half MVA square plus about the potential, gravitational potential energy. Here the object is at the height equals to R plus R, 2R. So here we have mg times 2R. So we can apply uh, M this relation, Me initial equals to Me final. Uh, we can say, so this one, uh, M G H equals to half M V A square plus M G times two R. We can eliminate M and we calculate V A equals to uh, VA equals to GH, GH equals to 3.5 R minus 2 R times 2. Okay, we get here. Uh, I think we have here also. Uh, We have G, okay? Here we have uh, G. Uh, VA, let me write here. Uh, here we have uh, V square equals to GH time uh, minus two we have G and times two. Okay, so VA equals uh, three point five times two equal to seven. Seven R G minus four R G. We get finally three R G. Okay, this is the value of VA part A. Part B, we have to find the value of uh, how large is the normal force on it if its mass is five gram. As you see, we have the object moves along a trajectory. And so we have a reaction from the trajectory on the object. Okay, so when the object is at this point and we have, uh, let me uh, draw. Okay, when the object it is at this point, Here, we have the weight of the object is down. Uh, also, we have the reaction from the trajectory on the plane, the normal, N. And we have 
the speed VA is to the right. Okay, here we have VA. Here we have, uh, let's say we have MG and N. Okay. And I want to calculate N, okay? Uh, to calculate N, we have to apply Newton's law. Summation of F equals to MA. Here, we can uh, use I and J, or we can use E tangent and E radial. Okay, I prefer to use E tangent and E radial because here we have M, uh, let's say we have uh, uh, N plus Mg, the total F applied on the object, we have N and Mg uh, equals to M A tangent plus A radial. I want to put on the figure E tangent, E radial, a tangent and a radial. You know here, E tangent has the same direction with the velocity and E tangent is outward. Uh, here we have E tangent and here E radial. And we have uh, a tangent here, and also we have a radial. You know, uh, I need to calculate N. N and Mg are in the direction of a radial, okay? and A radial and N and MG are in the opposite direction of ER. So here uh, we have minus N times ER minus MG ER. And we don't have, we, we, we don't have a forces along a tangent, okay? So here we have zero E tangent equals to M. Uh, uh, here we have A tangent plus A radial is opposite to E radial. So we have to write here minus A radial E radial, okay? I take this value and this value. We have minus N minus M G equals to minus A R. We can say plus, plus, and plus. I want to calculate N. So N equals, oh, we have M times M. You know AR, the magnitude of AR equals to V square divided the radius of the circle. So here we have uh, AR V square divided by R times M plus uh, minus G. And here we have M. You know M equals to five times 10 minus three kilogram and in we have v square uh, you you know v equals to three r g so v square equals to three r g three r g divided by r minus g okay Uh, here we have five times 10 minus 
3, we can eliminate R and R. 3G minus G, we have 2G. Here we have times uh, 2G 9.8. Here we have 10. We have 10 times 9.8 times 10 minus three, we can say 9.8 times 10 minus two Newton. This is the value of the reaction along the trajectory, okay? Uh, I need, uh, okay, uh, we have, this is the answer. Uh, let me do some analysis. I want to change uh, some given and we can do the same, uh, the same application. Uh, we can calculate, for example, the velocity of uh, the ball if uh, the ball is at uh, this point, for example. We can calculate also n uh, in this case, okay? 